In this video, we're learning how to graph linear equations that are written in standard form. And if you look at the top of the screen, we're going to see a standard form, which is ax plus by is equal to c. So for the first two examples, I'm going to show you guys how we can graph equations written in standard form using x and y intercepts. And then for the last two examples, I'm going to show you guys how we can convert standard form into y equals mx plus b and then graph the equation that way. I think intercepts are typically easier when you're graphing in standard form, but some students like to change the equation into y equals mx plus b form, so I'll also show you guys that. So let's jump into example one, which is 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. So what we want to do is find the x and y intercepts, and then we're just going to plot those, and then we'll just draw a line through them. So I'll write x intercept right here. Remember that the x intercept of a line is where the line crosses the x axis. So for any x-intercept, our y-coordinate is always 0. So we're going to set y equal to 0 and solve for x. So we're going to have 2x plus 3, instead of y, we're going to replace it with 0, is equal to 6. And what's nice is that this just cancels out to 0. So we have 2x plus 0 equals 6, which is the same as 2x equals 6. And we just divide both sides by 2 to get an x-intercept of 3. And now we're going to go over to our graph and just plot that x-intercept of 3. So we're going to put a point at 3 on the x-axis. And now we're going to do the same thing for the y-intercept. So we're going to find the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So the x-coordinate is always 0. So we're going to set x equal to 0 and solve for y. So we're going to have 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. 2 times 0 is just 0. So we have 0 plus 3y equals 6, which is the same as 3y equals 6. Divide both sides by 3 to get a y-intercept of positive 2. We're going to go ahead and plot that on our graph right here. And now we just get to draw a straight line through both of these points. And we're finished. Let's go through one more example where we're using the x and y intercepts. So I encourage you guys to try this example on your own. Then you can watch me work through it to make sure you've solved it correctly. So again, we're going to graph this one using x and y intercepts. So for the x-intercept, we're going to set y equal to 0. So we're going to say 4 times x minus 5 times 0 equals negative 20. We have 4x minus 5 times 0 is 0, equals negative 20. This is the same as 4x equals negative 20. And we just divide both sides by 4 to get an x-intercept of negative 5. And now we're going to go over to our graph and plot negative 5 on the x-axis. And now all we have to do is just find the y-intercept. So we're going to find the y-intercept. We're going to set x equal to 0 and solve for y. So we're going to have 4 times 0 minus 5y equals negative 20. 4 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 minus 5y is equal to negative 20. And 0 minus 5y is the same as negative 5y, which is equal to negative 20. Finally, divide both sides of our equation by negative 5 to get a y-intercept of positive 4. And now we just have to plot positive 4 on our y-axis. Whoops. Let's plot that on our y-axis. And we are going to draw a straight line through those two points. And that is how we graph the line. Now we're going to go through two examples where we're going to change standard form into y equals mx plus b form. So for this example, we have 2x plus y is equal to 5. And what we want to do is change this into y equals mx plus b form and then graph it using that form. So what we want to do first is isolate y. All right. Isolate y. So we have 2x plus y is equal to 5. And we want to get y by itself. So we are going to subtract 2x from both sides. On the left side, we're left with y. On the right side, I'm going to put the negative 2x in front. So we have negative 2x plus 5 because we want this in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. 
Step two is going to be find slope and y-intercept. So this is in y equals mx plus b form, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. So in this case, our slope is negative 2, and our y-intercept is positive 5. And now what we're going to do is plot the y-intercept on our graph. So our y-intercept is positive 5, so we're going to plot it up here. And now we're going to use the slope to find some more points. So our slope is negative 2, which is the same as negative 2 over 1. And remember that slope is rise over run. So to find another point, our slope is negative 2, so we can go up 2 and to the left one. Or we could have gone down 2 and to the right one to get a point right here. And let me just erase these lines to make it a little bit neater. And we have three points, so we can just draw a line through them. So this is our line. So again, I think this way is a little bit slower. But if you guys like changing equations to y equals mx plus b form first, you can definitely do that. Let's go through one more example like this. So for this last example, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try it on your own. And then you can watch me work through it to make sure that you've done it correctly. So again, we're going to change this into slope-intercept form. So first we're going to isolate y. So we have 6x minus 2y equals 4. We're going to start by subtracting 6x from both sides. On the left, we're left with negative 2y. On the right, I'm going to write this as negative 6x plus 4. And now we want to divide both sides by negative 2. We're going to divide every term by negative 2. On the left, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So we're left with 1y. On the right, negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. So we have 3x, and positive 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So we have 3x minus 2. And now we want to find the slope and y-intercept. So remember that this is in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So our slope is positive 3, which is the same as 3 over 1. And our y-intercept is negative 2. And now we're going to plot our y-intercept, so negative 2 on the y, and we're going to use our slope of 3 over 1 to find a couple more points. So slope is rise over run, so this 3 over 1 tells us we can go up 3 to the right one, or we could have gone down 3 into the left one. And now I'm just going to erase these arrows that I drew. And now we have three points, so we can just draw a line through them. So this is how we graph our line. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand a couple methods for graphing linear equations in standard form. If you want some more practice with problems similar to these, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.